What is going on, my fine people? Fine Line 1721 checking back in. Here to give you guys another dope video. This one right here that I'm about to do is pretty much kind of like a updated video to the first look that I did on these joints right here. The Air Jordan Retro 1 Sports Illustrated, A Star is Born, uh, whatever you want to call them, little 360. The first initial thoughts of this shoe uh, or the first review that I did of this shoe, if you haven't checked it out, we will pretty much go over the details to look forward to. So, I mean, you can go check out that video, but this video is pretty much just to go through a quality control check and to let you guys get an updated opinion about the shoe because when I first did the review on this joint, this is the, sh the exact shoe that I did the review on which is my size 11. It was a personal pair that I picked up. I didn't have enough room in the car to throw in all of the rest of the retro ones because I had a car full of retro 11s. So when I was able to go back and pick up more retro ones, I decided you know, to just flip some, some box lids open and see if the quality on these retro ones would either be the same as this or will they become, or will some pairs come better than this because i was a little bit you know not disappointed but it was just like i thought that the shoe would have been just a lot softer than what it actually is but i was wrong because every single one of these pairs have the same general idea where it's pretty much a tumbled shoe but like i said in that review is not as soft as i expected it to be or, you know, buttery. But this is the size 11 that I reviewed. And this is another size 11 that I had picked up. So when I flip the box open on this joint, you can see the stamp. I was more impressed. I had that real retro one, you know, shock value that you normally get when you first pull your retro ones out of the box. This one here, flip these two strings back. This one here is a lot more like a retro one that's on par with the rest of the retro ones that have released in 2018. Like if this is going to be the last retro one, this one, if they would have came, if this one would have came like this, I'm saying, it would have been like really like, oh shit, okay, y'all ended the year off right. When I did the review on that shoe, like I stated, the material is tumbled, but it's just not as soft and plush as I expected it to be. Now, when I did my push down test on that joint right there, the shoe pretty much kind of came back up. Now, as you can see on this one, it's, it's down. It's stuck. It's pretty much like that soft leather that you expect to get from a retro one is plush you take a look at the mid panel get some of that exposure down you can see that this one is more like you know when you get that the the bread toe type of leather right there and even on the back you know this one is tumbled but this one just had a little bit more tumble to it right in here and even around the ankle collar. And let's just take a look at a couple more. This is an eight and a half that we're looking at. It's a lot more tumble than that 11 that I was looking at. So pretty much, this is one of those, it all depends on the pair that you get in, because even you can see now that the, the toe box pressed down on this one, it's still staying there. So it's like, I know I kind of downplayed the quality a little bit on the first review, but just like I said, just going over certain pairs, you can even see the, the inside of this one. You know what I'm saying? It's way more soft and it's way more plush than that first shoe that I reviewed. So if you've seen that review and you're thinking like, okay, cool, they just some basic ass retro ones. Honestly, now that I've seen more pairs, they're not. It's just pretty much the luck of the draw on which one or which retro one that you will receive. 
if we take a look at this size nine right here, this has a very, very smooth back. The heel, the ankle collar is very smooth. So that's what kind of threw me off when I reviewed their first size 11 because I'm thinking like, okay, cool. They got this little fake little tumble to it, but it ain't really as soft as I expected it to be. So you can see this size nine, very, very smooth on the back. It's not really as tumbled on the mid panels either. And even that you see on the toe is is coming right back up a little bit. So it's it's like certain certain retro ones that you get. I mean, certain pairs of these retro ones will have better material than others. So the, the colorway is nice, but different. It's, it's pretty much, you know, back to the retro ones where some of them is nice and tumbled. Some of them is kind of smooth. Like this one, it has a slight little tumble in it, but it's more smooth like that size nine that we just reviewed. So me personally, I'm really, really impressed with this size 11. I don't know. I might keep it. I might just give it to Unbreakable. All depends on how I feel. Because I think this is one of the better size 11s that I'm going to find. And also, we got a grade school. Quick little look at the grade school. Let's see how it stacks up with the men pairs. So taking a quick look at the grade school. This is a size 7. Suggested retail on this joint. Uh, did it go up? No, it's 120. As you can see there. But they didn't cut any corners. They gave the grade school sizes the two extra laces. We got some good quality leather on it. Nice and tumble. See if we got some nice little soft. Well, yeah. It's a nice little flex on the toe box of the grade school size. Good tumble leather. You got your flap. I got the grade school sizes as well on fineline1721.com if you want to pick them up. Some for the little feats. So, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it, man. I just wanted to give a, a, a quick update vid as far as the Air Jordan Retro 1, A Star is Born. As you can see, once again, A Star is Born. You know, I didn't want to just pretty much leave people feeling like, oh, you know, them these that's a nice little decent little color, but the quality ain't there. Like, yes, the quality is there. It just all depends on the luck of the draw. But the quality is on point. It's on par with the rest of the retro ones that have been releasing. So if you want to pick these joints up, you can do so. The release date for these are December 27th. They are shipping out now on fineline1721.com. Men and grade school pairs are available. Head over if you want to pick you up a pair early. I also got the Retro 8s. Tinkers. Releasing December 22nd. Those are shipping out as well. We got the All Black Winter Rise 12s. We got the Concords. Everything is shipping out early. Fineline1721.com And uh, please be sure to follow me on Instagram Follow me on Twitter Both handles are the same Fineline1721 And into the next video You guys already know what to do Be smooth, enjoy life Bless up